Hi, welcome to Happy Tales. I'm Cheryl Rosenthal, Communications and Education Coordinator at the Oshkosh Area Humane Society. And I'm Joni Geiger, Executive Director. And Joni, we have a really fun show today. Yeah, we do. We're going to do a variety of things. The first thing that, uh, one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to be bringing some dogs in mm -hmm. and showing how different dogs have different play styles right. and how they get along. That's absolutely um, true. And then we're also going to meet some of the other shelter animals that we have here uh, at Oshkosh Area Humane Society and talk about the variety of personalities, ages, sizes, all yeah. the different animals that we get, get and here. And as you know, Cheryl, I mean, we just, we see everything here. I mean, we really, we truly do. I mean, you know, and um, I think that's really kind of cool because it's it's very diverse, which means that there's someone for everybody. Right. Um, and we have cool. someone yeah, for we everybody. Do. We so, really do. Yeah. So we're going to take a break and come back with some pets. Okay. Yes, ready, ready. Go get it. Oh, come on, Randy. Animal shelter, here I come. And no, I'm not crazy or emotionally damaged. That's a stereotype. I just belong to a total loser. I'm a good dog. So if you want a pet, adopt. And if you see Randy, tell him he dropped his wallet. So we're just going to bring our first dog in. And this is Brandy. Hey, Brandy. Now, this is, this is also Jen. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Jen uh, is our uh, exerciser and enrichment person. And uh, so obviously we have a get along gang. We do this every day. Mm -hmm. um, so you're very familiar with this and these dogs have met before, but they're probably not used to the environment. Right. So we may see a little bit of reservation or hesitation on their body language um, to begin with at least. But now do you normally, when you're outside and you're doing mm -hmm. the, the get along, take off leashes right away and let them just... Um, depending on the dogs that I'm mixing, but mm -hmm. yeah, in this sense, what I'm going to do is take her leash off sure. right now, and mm -hmm. then bring another dog in, yeah. and then well, I'll let's, let them. Yeah, eat. let's do it then. So All right. And um, Cheryl, why don't you like talk a little bit about Brandy and who Brandy is, and um, as far as just uh, obviously Brandy's a pit bull. And, She's uh, a pit mix. Uh, mm -hmm. She is a spayed female. Mm -hmm. She is two years old. Um, was she a she was her? I'm sorry? Was she a stray? Or? She was an owner surrender dog. Um, they got her off of Craigslist mm -hmm. and they had her since early spring. Here we go. We, this is oh, Gumbo. Yeah. Hi there. This is Gumbo. And uh, Gumbo, Hi, Gumbo. Yeah. Gumbo is a three year old uh, shepherd mix. And, Hi, Gumbo. Um, Hi, Gumbo. Also, another owner surrender dog, and of course, everybody's going to sniff and kind of check out the room. I'm sure they got to check out the environment because this is, oh, look, look at this. Oh, and Cheryl treats. left some treats down there, so. Hi, honey. Brandy. Hey, bud. Gumbo. God, Zed. Gumbo. Come here. Ooh. And this is, you know, this is kind of cool because, you know, obviously we're, we're doing, you know, Jen's doing mixes every day, but we, we do this. And I, the dogs really enjoy being with each other. They enjoy right. each other's company. They enjoy hanging out together. They run, they chase, they play. You know, exercise is such a big part of what dogs should be doing. Right. So thank you, honey. Well, and every dog is so different. Hi, uh, sweetheart. And this is Tom. <laughs> Tom is a... Uh, Coonhound mix. Oh, here we go. Now we're going to play. Now we're going to have a little playtime. You can see as they get more comfortable in the room, they're going to be a little bit more playful. Hi, Tom. Um, I like the fact that Tom came right in and approached a person, mm -hmm. which means that Tom's a social guy. You know, Tom, Tom obviously likes people. So um, these things are uh, really, really important. So, um, And I know they're going off and on camera here you know, because of the room. But you know what, what Jen does, and obviously what we're going to do right now, is you know you watch body language. You, you see how the dogs feel about each other and um, what's happening, because dogs are telling a story through their body. Right. They don't talk like you and I do. They don't introduce each other, but they introduce each other through body language. Sure. By where, how they hold their tail, where their, how their ears are, mm -hmm. um, how they carry themselves, mm -hmm. just in general. Sure. And so. even... Oh, here comes another one. 
And this is Berkeley. Oh, uh, Berkeley okay. is a 13-year-old lab. Oh. And everybody's going to... This is the first time they're all meeting Berkeley. Oh, okay. Oh, so this is... Okay. Yep, yeah. so, so this okay. is an interesting reading here. Yeah, yep. A little overwhelming. Um, obviously maybe. a little overwhelming. So we're going to kind of just break the... Oh, he's got a hard mouth. We're going to just break the monotony a little bit. Um, you can see the hair um, on Berkeley is a yeah, little uncomfortable. A yeah. Yep. yep. Hey, guys. Puppies. Puppies. Yep. So... We're going to do a little, we're just mm. going to give them a little break. Brandy's pretty stimulated right now. Well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, she's a little uncomfortable in here. Maybe not this group, huh? Maybe not this group. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it seems like they're all pretty doing well, but her hackles are still up pretty high. So yeah, yeah. But she's very anxious. She is anxious to see people, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so, you know, what you could, we're not seeing it relax. Can you go over and give some treats right. to Brandy, please? Brandy, you want to go over there? Brandy. Brandy. Or not Brandy, I'm sorry, to uh, Berkeley. Oh, Berkeley. Hi. Hey, honey. Oh. Come here. Uh, now, what, what we're doing is we're, we're distracting the other dogs so it's not such an overwhelming. Berkeley. Um, greeting where you're getting Berkeley. met literally at the door by uh -uh. three dogs. By three at once and then yeah. they can't properly smell or greet Right, each exactly. Other. So and then and then the anxiety level gets a little bit higher and then obviously if if they're not comfortable with that, you know, we just want to make sure Berkeley. that nothing's gonna happen. So see the hair is already starting to go down. Hi, Tom. The tail's going a little bit yeah. more down. And Hi. what I would maybe recommend Jen oh. is you could you could drop the leash. Okay. I wouldn't necessarily um, so we're going to greet people and meet people. Hi. And we're going to check the environment out. Yeah. They, they do like, they do like, uh, obviously, some food. Now, what happened to this young fellow's eye here, Jen? Um, I'm not sure. He did come in. Okay. So, I... But medically, he has been looked at by a veterinarian here, so I'm just not positive. Now, I'm going to put food away because we what what's happening now is... Everybody's we, food motivated. They're all food motivated, and so we don't want to start, you know, where I want it first, I can have it. Um, so I we're going to... I try not to exercise uh, uh, with treats uh, when I've got my right. little long gangs out because mm -hmm. that can cause... That can create... Yep, and, okay, we're going to... Gumbo. Uh, ah, uh, right. ah, Down. Nope. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Now, mounting a dog isn't necessarily um, something that's going to be sexual as much as it is dominance. Um, I want to be the boss. I want to be the boss. Yeah. So going over the back, they're going to corner him. Oh, okay. He's going to come back out. Gumbo. So. Gumbo might need a timeout. Yeah. So Gumbo's well, a little and some of that can some of that be age too because oh, Gumbo is sure. only two and yeah. Berkeley is thirteen. Yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of like it's I'm going to be the it's excitement, but it's I'm not necessarily be the top dog. sexual. Yeah, yeah. So and um, now uh, Berkeley really has the choice of just ignoring that or allowing it to happen, mm -hmm. or she could turn and go right. Rawr. Absolutely. And uh, hopefully, you know, the other dog would back off. So yep. these are some of the things that uh, these are not just things that. Uh, we need to watch here at the shelter, mm -hmm. but these are things that people, when they're taking their dog to the dog park, when they're taking their dog for a walk and they're encountering other dogs, mm -hmm. these are some of the things that they need to watch for. Uh, and one of the things that we always teach here too is when you're introducing, you always want to make sure that they're on leash, but it should be a loose leash, not mm -hmm. tight. That's right. Um, That's absolutely right because dogs can be leashed aggressive. Right. And you want to watch where the tails are if the, you don't want them right. too high. Uh, if they're way over the back or if they're tucked, that dog is right. really afraid. Right. Mm -hmm. Hackles being up can mean I'm not comfortable, uh, I'm scared. Right, they're can just letting them know I'm getting myself oh. hey. bigger. <laughs> okay, should we take a little break? Yes, let's okay. take a break. We have to clean up some pee-pee. Life's funny. I never thought I'd end up at a shelter. But then again... Neither did you. Life's funny. Here we are with little Yoda. And uh, Yoda came into us as a stray. Mm -hmm. um, very fearful. 
uh, the cameras are scaring him right now, so sure. he's doing a little growling because yep. uh, he doesn't understand what the cameras are all about. Yep. Um, we'll see if he'll take, well, I guess now he won't take a treat from me. Yeah. He was taking some treats earlier. There we go. He knows Good the boy. film is rolling. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so this is a little dog that we're going to have to build his trust. Yeah. And uh, that's what our volunteers are for. And this is Sandy, who's been working with Yoda. Um, and this is a dog that Joni is not, he is adoptable. He is. Um, he, he certainly has issues. There's no question about it. I mean, he came in as a stray. And in my personal opinion, based on what we're seeing, he's terribly, terribly under-socialized. Mm -hmm. I mean, he missed that critical time when he should have been socialized. My guess is, honestly, he is a puppy mill product um, because of what we're seeing here. Mm -hmm. um, he is... Um, you know, he struggles. Um, a lot of things are very fearful for him because he's never experienced them right. at that critical time. So now is, you know, he's 10 months old. Um, we had him neutered here, and as you, he loves and adores Sandy. And honestly, in the right home, he's going to do just fine. Right, right. Well, and he's become attached to some other members mm -hmm. of our staff, mm -hmm. um, other people. Uh, he's been allowing me to feed him treats. Sure, um, yeah. And so, and that's what people have to understand that um, when you have a dog like this, mm -hmm. you're building a relationship. Mm -hmm. And is this a dog for everyone? Nope. No. This nope. is for somebody who's, who's willing to take this on. Well, and but, this is, you know, in all fairness, this is all about matchmaking, Cheryl. This is exactly what we do here in this, in this building and in this shelter and this humane society, is there is somebody for Yoda. We just need to find them, mm -hmm. and they need to find him. And in the meantime, we're going to keep helping sure. socialize right. him and uh, let him know that the world That's right. maybe is a scary place, but it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. You know, so um, so anyways, we want to, uh, now, and we talked about this earlier, Yoda is more on the extreme. Mm -hmm. um, and right, honestly, we don't see, a, you know, right. a lot of dogs like right. this. And, and the fact that he's a smaller dog, um, those things are all going for him. He's younger. He's, he's responding well to, you know, all the uh, behavioral enhancement and, and just working with him. So he's, he's doing well, but he's never going to be lassie or nor what we would call right. normal. Right. But in the right environment, he's going to thrive. Right. He so really he can learn, is. but it's not the same as had he right. been socialized at that critical sure. time earlier sure. in his life. And we've seen much worse, as you're right. well aware. So. Right. So, okay. So, so anyways, we just wanted to introduce Yoda. And we're here switching we're gears. going from cats to or from dogs to cats. Mm -hmm. And this is Jane. Uh, she is one of our greeter cats. She is. And even when we were at Dempsey Trail many moons ago, we always had greeter cats. Right. And what does it take, Joni, to be a greeter cat? Do you know? Uh, well, yeah, actually, um, usually our greeter cats are cats that have been here a long time. And um, very often you'll see that they're uh, reacting to the stress and being confined and so on and so forth. So we recognize that if they have more territory, if we increase their territory, we give them more stimulation, they do much better. <laughs> uh, Jane has been here since July. Oh, wow. Yeah. So she was a stray kitty, came in as a stray. She's approximately four years old. She was already spayed. So she must have belonged to somebody. She belonged to somebody. Yeah. Uh, but who knows? So um, she, well, she's a very nice, nice cat. She's, um, she's not cat. a door dasher. Nope. She's not uh, a door that's dasher another at all. thing. She is mm -hmm. a good greeter. Mm -hmm. um, one mm -hmm. of the things that I like about Jane, Jane is sometimes people selective, and <laughs> such a nice way to put it. Uh, well, <laughs> I really respect her that instead of being um, rude when yeah. children mm -hmm. come sure. or hissing or yep. spitting or mm -hmm. whatever, there are some people or young children that she will just get up and remove herself from the yep, premise. I agree. And so she's she's very polite in that way. Mm -hmm. um, and so 
she does have her um, the people that she does like, but for the most part, she greets everybody. Yeah, she's very, very sweet. She's out and about, and um, you know the thing about Jane, she's got a very honest personality. If right. she doesn't like you, she'll just say, oh, "I'm leaving." Yep, I'm leaving. And you know, I think one of the points uh, I would like to make about our greeter cats is that. Because they're roaming the building, a lot of times we get potential adopters coming in and they'll pet the greeter cats and spend a lot of time with them and, oh, they're so cute, but they never apply for them. Mm -hmm. I, I think sometimes there's this misnomer that they forget that our greeter kitties right. are available for right. adoption too. Right. So, um, but what would be nice is if people would come in and adopt our greeter kitties, we could have more greeter kitties. Absolutely. There's other cats Absolutely. waiting to become greeter kitties. There's and no question and about you it. know, as wonderful as it may be here for the animals, mm -hmm. um, there's no place like home. There a is home no place home. like home. So, that is, there is no question. We have a beautiful building. You know that. We we work very very hard in reducing the stress of all the animals right. here. But nothing beats a home. A home of your own. Mm -hmm. So so this is Jane. And yeah. uh, next I'd like to introduce you to Galaxy. Great. So let's take a break Super. and get Galaxy. All right. All right. This is little Galaxy. Uh, she likes to hang out at the dog desk. She does. Uh, she is the official greeter at the dog desk here at the Humane Society. She came in as a stray. Uh, it's estimated that she's about seven years old. Mm -hmm. uh, she's not real comfortable in this room. So right. I'm, you know, I'm trying not to... You know, she's not trying to get fearfully get away. Right. Um, but you're also trying not to restrain her. Right. I'm to trying the point not to restrain fear. her and trying to help reassure her that we're not going to do anything bad to her. Um, she was already spayed when she came mm -hmm. in, uh, so she obviously, again, must have belonged to somebody. Um, she's just a cute little girl, and she. Um, she has that singy bird voice to me. She's she has a tweety, that little. She's kind of a tweety bird. She's got that, she's got that very voice. little meowy kind of thing. He'll, cute little girl. And uh, she, she does like the cameraman. Yes, she <laughs> likes men. So if there's any men out there looking for uh, yes. a really nice kitty, maybe they'd like to come in and take a look at Galaxy. Yep, and she's she very is. tolerant of other kitties. Yeah, so really again, is. another kitty that yeah. um, came into us that is uh, yeah. been overlooked. See, she likes the boys. She, she likes, likes the, the men. She's a flirt. Yes, she is. She's, She's a, a flirt. flirt. You know, I think it's interesting too, Cheryl, you know, like um, you know, the last two cats that we just talked about who are wonderful cats, uh, both of them came in as strays. Um, you know, most people don't realize or recognize how many cats and dogs actually, but, mm -hmm. but cats in particular come in as strays. Right now we're at about 55% of all our cats it's are our strays. strays. Yeah, and you know the sad thing about it is um, with very few exceptions, all of them, all of them are social and friendly, mm -hmm. and obviously belonged in somebody's home right. at one time. Right, and they must have been put outside for a reason. And I think this might be an opportunity to remind people that if you're having a behavior problem with mm -hmm. your pet, whether it be a cat or a dog or a rabbit or gerbil or whatever, we are mm -hmm. a wonderful resource center yeah. that we can yeah. help that so that instead of putting the cat outside or putting the dog outside, give us a call and yeah. let us help you uh, yeah. with, see if we can help you with those behavioral issues. Yeah, it's just, I, I just find it really, you know, I know that there's this, you know, cats need to be outside or this is where they want mm -hmm. to be or so I think so that's forth. kind of old school now. I think it really is old school. I mean, these are domesticated animals that you know, it isn't necessary to put them outside. You can meet their needs in a home environment. Right, right. Well, know. and look at our but society. There's show. there's more cars and, you know, so uh, yeah. so anyway, yeah. Um, yeah. we see so, a lot of stray cats, yeah. a really lot of nice, adoptable yeah. stray kitties. So well, let's, let's, let's meet somebody some new. Okay. Well, sure. who's your next two? Uh, this is uh, Little Rambo and Jabba. Mm -hmm. And um, Rambo has been with us uh, since... October. October. Yeah. And uh, he's, as you can see, he's just a little tiny kitten. Yep. And uh, he's probably about three and a half months mm. old now. Yeah. And he's a little peewee. Yeah. And we have Jabba over here, who is a long-haired kitty. And he is also a kitten. And I think, uh, you know, there's such a difference, again, not only in personality, mm -hmm. but in size. Mm -hmm. um, because Jabba is about, how old would he be? Well, he came in in October as well, and he was four oh, months when he came sir. in. So, so, so obviously he's two months older. So he's six months. Okay. And um, great playmates. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yep. Kind of the best of both worlds. I think they've. 
just waking up for their morning nap. Yeah. Well, and Very the truth is, is that this is a good pair. Um, you know, um, interestingly enough, Rambo came in and he was he was a very tiny kitty. I mean, he was very small. He was probably only around six weeks old when he came in. And you know, we we obviously you know we feed like leukemia test them and we give them their vaccinations and they get wormed and so on and so forth. And we put him in a kitty room, and guess what? <laughs> Uh, he was beating up all the other yeah. kittens. He beat up all uh, these kittens that are bigger than him. I mean, he's beating them up, and he's just kind of like, you know, that's why we called him Rambo. He's just, you know, he just has no Rambunctious. fear. Rambunctious. Yeah, yeah. He just Very has no rambunctious. fear. He's just, a, he's just an outgoing, um, oh, we got a... We got someone visiting here today. Uh -huh. um, so he's a, he's a pretty outgoing kitty. And so the truth be known is what we what we did is because the other kitties were actually starting to become uh, frightened of Rambo, we put him in with the big boys. So uh, Rambo went in with an adult group mm -hmm. um, that was able to teach him a little bit and show him some of the, you know, kitty body language. So he learned a little bit of respect for, right. um, you know, jumping on other... <laughs> other <laughs> kitties. So um, he really, really thrived in that environment. He did very, very well. He learned, you know, right from the get-go. And he's really very good now about mm -hmm. if someone says, leave me alone, he does. Right, right. And the two of them play, you know, beautifully together. Yes. And and here again, back to matchmaking. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're all mm -hmm. about here. Yeah. And we're doing this every day. And so when people come in looking for a cat or a kitten, mm -hmm. uh, it's really important for us to know about the cat sure. that they have at home so that we can make... Uh, a good match so You're, that so that you can have the playfulness and the rough housing uh, without the biting and sure. the other because you know honestly if if Rambo were to go into an environment with another small kitty he would ultimately end up to be a bully you know? right but the fact that we were able to recognize his personality and some of the things that needed to be worked with um, we were able to because he was young we were able to kind of head that off right. and and get him into an environment where older kitties actually taught him mm -hmm. a little bit of the you know right. the role so that's kind of an advantage that yes. we have here exactly. when we see that a puppy or a kitten or a young animal is You're having right. a problem um, we can switch them around yeah, and get them yeah, with, the, yeah. with the right buddy that's going to give and, them the right And you said it yourself, Cheryl, we learn so much. I mean, this is a, a, a breeding ground for, for learning how mm -hmm. to make matches and right. body language. And all, I mean, we're just, I mean, every day we're seeing it and we're reinforcing it and we're understanding it so much better. So we really do have a lot of experience in mm -hmm. this area. So, so when people come to us, Obviously, we can. We sincerely can help them in making good right. We can matches. share with them our experiences right. and what works and, and what maybe yeah. doesn't yeah. work. So, so well, shall we meet somebody else? Let's meet some more. Who do we have here, Joni? We have Tina. Uh, Tina is about uh, four and a half months, and she came from another shelter uh, up north. And we try to help out shelters when we're able to when we have some space and so um, she it was just a little stray up there and unfortunately sometimes in certain areas of Wisconsin um, you know there's a lot of puppies out there because not a lot of spaying and neutering right so um, so, she's, so what what kind of dog do we think Tina is oh Tina is definitely a Heinz 57 she's got a little bit of everything in her you know there might be some Sheltie in there um, you know they originally had her in as a shepherd mix but I'm not seeing a lot of shepherd there myself. <laughs> well you know she has the you know she's mm -hmm. black and tan yep. so mm -hmm. that might be yeah. you know part yeah. of it but uh, I, from the looks at her feet she's not going to be a very big dog I don't I'll, think so I'll, Yep, I don't so. think so. But she's she's very sweet. She's very friendly. She's very outgoing. But um, she's all puppy. She's, she's all, all puppy. puppy. Yeah, she's all, all puppy. puppy. So going to be high energy, mm -hmm. need yep, exercise, this, yep, uh, yep. training, yep. that type of thing. And here again, we're talking about uh, when you're thinking about getting a pet, you need out, out. You need to make that commitment, well, a lifetime commitment. Absolutely, Cheryl. I mean, this is, you know, she is so cute, and, you know, everybody is attracted to dogs like this. But, you know, you really got to think about this. Yeah. This is this is a 10-year commitment. Plus, you got to get through the puppy thing, too. Right. So, so and you, you, time. It's an yeah, investment of yeah. time. It isn't just the money. It's, it's also the investment yeah, of time. Yeah, absolutely. So, again, from a matchmaking perspective, you know, you want to find somebody who says, you know what, I'm, I'm prepared to do what it takes to to make her 
um, a great adult dog mm -hmm. and a great family dog. So to invest in the mm -hmm. obedience classes, sure. the exercise, sure. make sure that she has plenty of that. Yeah. Um, all, all the things that all they the need. All the things that they need, absolutely. And it's, and it's not just, you know, you can't, you can't park them in the garage like you do a new car mm -hmm. yeah. uh, when you want to go and do something else. It's 24-7 mm -hmm. that uh, you make that commitment for. So, it absolutely uh, is. So <laughs> you are just a little powerhouse. Isn't she? She's just a sweetheart. Ow. Yeah. She Ow. really is a sweetheart. So. And, of course, we're going through that mouthing stage right now. So. Mm -hmm. Yep, trying yep. to redirect her and, to the and toy. And they're teething, and obviously yep. that's you know a lot, lot of chewing. Yeah, a lot, lot of, of chewing. chewing, and just so, you know got to do all those things. So. so I guess what we would ask is you know let people know that we have a variety of animals oh, here at just, the Humane Society, um, <clears throat> kind of on a rotating basis. We have all different kinds of. Lots Dogs, of personalities. cats, a lot of different personalities. Lots um, of ages. You are absolutely right, Cheryl. I mean, there is just, you know, something for everybody here. There truly, truly well, is. Well, maybe if they can't find a pet here at the Humane Society, they don't need one. <laughs> Isn't there a <laughs> there store like that? Yeah, if you they, don't yeah. have it, you don't you need don't it. Need it. Exactly. Uh, so we have a little bit of everything for everybody, sure. and we truly believe here at the Oshkosh Area Humane Society that there is a home for everyone. There really is. Um, and so we'll, we really hope that everybody would think about uh, visiting, you know, our shelter um, and or any shelter or any shelter adopting a shelter adopt animal. from a shelter animal. Uh, yeah. It really is important. Yeah. Absolutely. So with that, Cheryl, <laughs> happy, happy tales, tales to you. you.